Welcome everybody to a brand new Blu-ray and DVD out and about video today. And ooh, there is a lot of titles being released this week. You've got the action drama Death Wish 2018 hitting store shelves. As well as the dramatic thriller Thoroughbreds. The fantasy adventure A Wrinkle in Time. The action thriller The Hurricane Heist. And the action comedy Gringo plus much, much more. So let's go in, see the deals, exclusives. We're at our first location, Walmart. So let's go in, see what they got. All right, guys, we are in at Walmart, and I'm seeing this display for A Wrinkle in Time. And they have the Blu-ray and DVD here for $22.96. And I ended up filming a My Movie Pass Adventures on A Wrinkle in Time. You can catch it on the My Movie Pass Adventures playlist. And, uh, you know, I really didn't care for this movie, guys. You know, it's based on a very popular and beloved book, and they tried to update it. I don't think it really worked all that well. The performances were just, man, a lot of the characters felt bland to me. It was just kind of a big old CGI mess really and it just did nothing for me at the end of the day I, I wish I really would have liked it I know they really were promoting the hell out of this and they tried to um, really just throw a lot of money at it and it just the, the story didn't work and it just didn't do anything for me god and it, it really is a shame because again they it felt like they put a lot of time and effort into it just it didn't come off good and I know it really bombed at the box office. Um, is it worth a watch? Mm, maybe worth at least one watch. It's sort of curiosity, check it out. But for me, it's, it's really not anything special, and I would easily pass by it if I were you. So for me, yeah, it's, it's, it's a skip, pretty much. So for that, and they also have the DVD over here for a Wrinkle in Time as well for $17.96. So the DVD over here and the Blu-ray and DVD over here as well. That's all I'm seeing. Not seeing any 4K over here, but well, let's check the other areas. All right, let's check out what else Walmart has. All right, everybody, we are in this section of Walmart, and the first thing I'm seeing over here is that they do not have any 4K of Wrinkle in Time, but if it was here, it's $29.96, just so you guys know. And also over here, I'm seeing the Blu-ray, DVD, and digital of Death Wish 2018 for $19.96. And the DVD for $14.96. And uh, Ron and I did a movie review. You can catch it on the movie review playlist. And you know what? Honestly, we were really surprised by this movie. I don't even know, maybe we went in with low expectations, but we were actually pleasantly surprised by the movie. We actually really were. Um, does it touch the Charles Bronson movies? No, it really doesn't. Uh, Charles Bronson is classic, but Bruce Willis is actually really great in this movie, and I think they updated it really well for modern times. It's, it's brutal. I think that... Bruce Willis is very effective in the role. Honestly, I was really surprised by this movie. I wasn't expecting much, but I actually thought it came off pretty damn good. And I think it's actually one of the better remakes to come down the pike in a little while, actually. So, yeah, this is absolutely worth, worth a watch, I think. It is definitely worth it. And I know they don't have the 4K. In fact, they were originally supposed to come out with a 4K edition of this movie. But, um, unfortunately not. Unfortunately, they scrapped the 4K. Maybe they'll bring it back eventually. But, in the meantime, just Blu-ray and DVD, guys. Next is The Hurricane Heist. The DVD for 1296, sorry. The Blu-ray, DVD, and digital for $17.96, and the 4K Ultra HD for $19.96 here, and Bob and I did a movie review on this. You can catch that on the movie review playlist as well, 
And, oh man, we heard everything. It's cheesy, it's over the top, it's ridiculous, it's stupid. They're right about them all. Absolutely, they're right about every single one of them. But, you know what? It was a fun movie. We had a fun time watching this flick. I, you know, maybe we just were in the right mindset to watch the movie, but we really enjoyed it a lot, guys. I think that Maggie Grace is really cool in this movie. I like the hurricane aspect to it. The high stuff is pretty cool. Um, again, it's, it's not Academy Award winning quality. It's not meant to be, but it was fun. We had a fun time with this movie, and I think that's what you have to go in expecting is a fun ride. Um, a little bit of turn your brain off. I mean, there was a couple plot elements where we were like, oh, geez, come on. But beyond that, we actually really enjoyed ourselves a lot. It was really, really fun. I think it's a recommend. I really do. And, yeah, if you like these type of movies, I would recommend it. I actually really dug it a lot. I know a lot of people didn't, but consider me surprised. The other thing over here I am seeing is I'm seeing every day the DVD for $12.96 and the Blu-ray for $19.96 and I heard about this movie but I didn't see it in the theater. Um, yeah, it's uh, based on a book, I knew that. I gotta admit to you guys, that is a weird and just crazy plot of just somebody going into a new body every single day and they have to find each other and still stay in love and I, I just, I, you know what, I just didn't really know if I was really into this movie or was going to be into it and that's why I didn't watch it but maybe it was going to be good. Let me guys let me know what you guys think about this movie. Is it good? Is it bad? I never read the book and I don't know. It's just it's just a crazy plot for a romantic comedy. I mean, I guess you have to spice up your romantic comedies and I guess doing weird body hopping is I guess a part of that, but I don't know, man. That is just odd to me. I don't know. Definitely let me know what you think of every day. And Oh, Disney also released a anniversary edition of Peter Pan, the Blu-ray, DVD, and digital for rollback $22.96. And, oh man, this takes me back. Um, I love Peter Pan. Peter Pan is such a wonderful, imaginative, um, animated film that I watched as a kid back in the day. And a lot of those ones back in the day, Cinderella, Snow White, Peter Pan, uh, the Little Mermaid, those are movies that I grew up with as a kid. These are classics to me. These are absolute classics. And this is an awesome, awesome film. I really do love it a lot. And it's cool that they did the anniversary edition. I know they do these for a lot of their, their titles eventually. And they finally got around to doing Peter Pan. Hmm, very cool. Very cool indeed. And also over here I'm seeing... Uh, Avatar The Last Airbender The Complete Series first time on Blu-ray for $39.96 I have never watched a single episode of this but I know that this series is incredibly beloved by fans and it's really cool that it's hitting on Blu-ray it probably must be really good on, on Blu-ray honestly not bad special features either a lot of stuff huh you know I know they made that shitty movie the M. Night Shyamalan one and man that is a real dog of, of, of a movie um, I know it really pretty much crapped on all of the all, all of the stuff and the mythology and it was just really terrible and uh, I don't know I mean I think I've heard so much good stuff about the the animated series that I may have to eventually sort of start to catch up and watch it but hmm you know never go back to the movie though but let me know what you guys think of this series is it worth me actually getting into it let me know and also over here is South Park the complete 21st season wow for 1996 and I've watched South Park here and there I haven't like really like watched South Park religiously but I mean, I gotta give it to 
Trey Parker and Matt Stone because these guys are geniuses. I mean, who thought this was ever going to really take off the way it did? And it's such a... a <laughs> I like that. Um, who knew it was going to take off the way it did? It was such a... It, it's, it's a fantastic show that kind of makes fun of itself and makes fun of pop culture and it's beloved people love it and there's been so much stuff made about his shirts and uh all these other all these other properties made from it and it's it's incredibly inventive and i don't know how much longer it's going to last but whenever it goes off the air it's definitely going to be missed man the 21st season that's ridiculous man damn Get, give it up for them for the 21st season, huh? Jeez. And then the next thing I'm seeing here is Thoroughbreds. The DVD for $17.96 and the Blu-ray Digital for $19.96. And I got a chance to watch this on Amazon Prime recently. And it's, it's kind of like a dark comedy. Almost, almost in the vein of like a Heathers, I'd say. Um, I think the performances are good. I think a Anya Taylor-Joy and Olivia Cook do a pretty good job in this movie. Um, the problem is the movie's very emotionless. You know, I love Heathers, and Heathers can be emotionless at times, but there's, you still feel emotion for the characters. I gotta admit, guys, I don't know if I felt much emotion for these characters. Sometimes the story was a little bland. Um, it's basically about... Um, two of these friends reconnecting and this one really rich friend has a father that she hates and um, she wants to kill him and they're trying to plan this and sort of craziness and complications ensue. I, I just thought it was okay. I wasn't in love with this movie. Um, okay is probably the best thing I can say. It's worth a watch, a curiosity to sort of compare it to movies like Heather's, but it's nowhere near, I think, as good as what those type of movies are. Um, I think you'd get it or watch it just for the performances alone, which is, which is worth it, to be honest with you. All right. Thoroughbred there. And then the next thing I'm seeing over here is, oh, another one from Kirk Cameron. Uh, Connect. The DVD for $9.96. What is this one about? Mm, real help for parenting kids in a social media world. Huh. Okay. Um, I am so glad Kirk Cameron is tackling what is one of the toughest issues parents face today. Technology and our kids. Okay. Huh. I know Kirk Cameron does a lot of these um, religious sort of stuff talking about about God and religion and I don't think this is one of those I think it's just basically talking about the social media world and raising your kids and I I might be interested in, in this type of one I mean I'm not a parent or anything but I know with social media and everything it gets kind of tough you know raising children and everything and you know it's nice to see somebody tackle the the subject matter you know I don't really watch any of their Kirk Cameron stuff I really honestly don't care for a lot of his religious things he does but they are popular Kirk Cameron is a very popular guy in that field and take it on something else appreciate it you know I don't know how this is if if you guys have seen this or know anything about connect let me know other than that that should do it for this section of Walmart let's see if there's anything else all right, guys, we are in this section of Walmart, and over here I'm seeing a few interesting things. Some, some stuff I've never heard before. Supercon, the DVD for $9.96. It's got Ryan Quanin, Maggie Grace in it. They were just in the Hurricane Heist together. Mike Epps, Clancy Brown, John Malkovich. Shit. They have been cosplayed for the last time. Okay. Huh. wonder what the hell this is about. Oh, jeez, what the hell is this? Um, another week, another comic convention for former TV actor who is also working bad things. Okay. Huh. That's kind of cool. I'm not going to lie. I kind of like that. Taking place in sort of a comic convention, old-time actors. Oh, okay, that's not bad. 
God, I kind of like that. The, uh, the cast is great in this. I've never heard of this movie. I like the cover. The cover is really cool. Almost like a very comic book action cover. Wow. I would kind of be down to watching this movie. Yeah. If you guys know anything about Supercon, let me know. That does look pretty cool, actually. And a couple other things I'm seeing over here. I'm seeing... What is this? Garlic and gunpowder? Never underestimate the power of stupidity. Well, well, yeah, that's true. James Duvall. This is a cool cover for this. I kind of like the cover. It, you know, you know how some people just buy stuff based on the cover. If I were to just pass by this and just blind wanted to blind buy something, I'd probably buy this. That's not bad. And for nine ninety six, it's not a bad price. Oh, what is this? Yeah, never. Let's see. Comet is on track to destroy the planet or not, depending on who you talk to. The world, world's top one percent are taking energy and are planning on their goal. Wow, a heist film and sort of the stupidity of possibly the end of the world. That okay? Consider me surprised. I like the cover. I I would be interested in watching this one. Yeah, okay. Guys, know anything about garlic and gunpowder? Let me know about that too. I'm also seeing some other stuff here as well. I'm seeing uh, Jurassic Predator, whatever the hell Jurassic Predator is, uh, for $9.96. I know they're coming out with uh, another Jurassic World movie, so they're all putting these, these, these titles out now, getting people intrigued. After 65 million years, the beast is back. I don't care, see this. Whoa, cool. I like the bag. Extinction is a thing of the past. Scientists working on a top secret government. Oh, that's really cool. I like that. Yeah. Oh, that's awesome. Jurassic Predator. Huh. Cool co co cover to that. I also see in here the Jurassic Dead. The Blu-ray DVD combo pack for twelve ninety six here. Evil always finds a way. Boy, I'll tell it I'll tell you, they're all coming out of the woodwork now. Whoa! That is... The only thing worse than a zombie is a zombie-saurus. <laughs> oh, wow. Holy crap, Ola. What is this? A unit of mercenaries must team up with a group of... Mad scientists and zombie dinosaurs. God, what weird shit, man. Not bad special features, either. I'm not gonna... This kind of intrigues me guys it really does I don't know god it looks so weird it really does Jurassic dead wow man if you guys know anything about this one let me know I might have to watch that god you've got also uh, altered altered perception 996. Stable cues. Huh. That. Oh, and the Midnight Man I know came out this week as well. You know, I saw the trailer for the Midnight Man for 996 here, and I I kind of like the trailer. Robert Englund, Lynn Shay. Oh, okay, well, it's from the director of the remake of The Cabin Fever, and I don't know if you guys saw that one, but it sucked. Yeah, it was really terrible. Ooh, God, what a garbage film that that is. Everything that makes for so much fun. But I would maybe give this one a chance, though. I mean, it's not terrible. It could be pretty cool. Huh. I love me some Robert Englund. Of course, Lynn Shea's been pretty cool in a lot of horror stuff. Yeah, the the whole like guy directed Cabin Fever doesn't really do much for me, but I might be down for this. If you guys have seen Midnight Man, let me know. You got uh, Delirium here. Topher Grace, Patricia Clarkson. A chilling psychological thriller from the first one. Huh. Not bad, yeah. Okay. Delirium. 
And also, The Devil's Gate, I know, got released this week as well. The DVD for $9.96. And I saw the trailer for this, and I actually really liked the trailer. Um, obviously, it's aliens. You can kind of tell from, from the cover here. The cover's kind of giving it away. But it was about sort of some person goes missing, I think, and um, they're trying to find them, and there's a lot of these secrets, and the, the town's just not really saying anything and there's a lot of weird blue lights in the sky and yeah it's kind of aliens but i heard i heard decent things about devil's gate and i know oh it's released by scream factory i do love me some scream factory um yeah M milo milo ventimiglia sean ashmore okay J jonathan frakes and then this motherfucker okay yeah i don't know i would be down for it checking this out could be cool. Hmm. Wow, some pretty cool titles at Walmart as usual. Wow. Didn't disappoint this week, guys. All right, let's head out. Wow, now that was really cool selection this week. And a major bounce back from last week when, let's be honest, it was pretty lackluster. But wow, a lot of really cool titles here, a lot of cool stuff to check out. Um, not really any exclusives, but man, I'm okay with that as long as we got cool selection like we got this week. That is awesome. Uh, yeah, let's hope this is off to a good start and the other stores have just as much selection and cool stuff to look at. Let's get going and see what else we can find. All right, everybody, we are at our second location, Target. So, Walmart proved that they could come back from a really bad week of releases last week so can target do the same well here's the hoping but the only way we're really going to find out is if we had inside so let's get going all right everybody we are in at target and the first thing i am seeing here is the hurricane heist the 4k ultra hd blu-ray and digital for 24.99 the Blu-ray, DVD, and digital for $19.99, and the DVD for $14.99. And, you know what, um, this movie is directed by Rob Cohen, and he's directed a lot of really interesting stuff. I liked, uh, The Fast and the Furious that he directed, um, I really do enjoy that first Triple X with, um, with Vin. I think that's a pretty cool movie. Um, he also directed Tomb of the Dragon Emperor, that third Mummy film. Uh, okay, nobody's perfect, but, <laughs> but uh, overall, I do like him as a filmmaker. I think it's actually pretty cool, and I do like this movie. Ridiculous and over-the-top as it may be, I still enjoyed the hell out of this movie, guys. I really did. And over here, we have the Blu-ray, DVD, and digital of Death Wish for $19.99, and the DVD for $14.99, and... Eli Roth directed this movie. Now, oh, I love me Cabin Fever, the original Cabin Fever. I really love the first Hostel. Other than that, I haven't really been a fan of Eli Roth's work. It just, I wasn't a fan of Knock Knock or The Green Inferno was just okay at best. Um, you know, the, the stuff he's done hasn't really been hitting me really that great but honestly i was surprised by this one i didn't really realize how great this movie was going to be i think he hit it out of the park i thought it was pretty decent actually you know and again i think bruce willis is probably as good as he's been in a while again shocker death wish was actually not bad at all again um will they make a second one i'd probably see a second death wish one with willis i probably would yeah I'd be down for it. Um, also over here, I am seeing Every Day, the Blu-ray for $19.99 and the DVD for $12.99. And again, this is a really odd romantic comedy. I, the, the synopsis here is ridiculous. And I, I, just, I just, I wasn't really feeling it going into the theater. Um, yeah, if, if you guys see it, let me know what you guys think, but again, uh, I don't know if, if, you know, I would have to deal with somebody changing their identity constantly, you know, and trying to find them. It's a crazy concept, but may, maybe it worked for the movie. I don't know. 
Also over here, oh, something that we didn't see at Walmart, uh, the dating project for $9.99. Um, hmm, what is this? Let's see here. Um, half of America is single, the hookup texting and social media culture have really altered. Uh, as five single people trying to find love and happiness in the age of swiping left or right. Huh. That is interesting. You know, um, I'm thankful that I have my girlfriend. I love her to death. Um, we didn't do anything over online. We met in person. Um, but I understand people are, it's a, it's a love thing. People, you know, want to try to find love, and online is a huge way, way to do it. Um, there's nothing wrong with it. People find love all the time. Um, yeah, but, I don't know, an interesting sort of documentary. Hmm. You guys know anything about the dating project? Let me know for nine ninety nine. And then over here, another thing we didn't see over at Walmart Freak Show for nine ninety nine. See, uh, Abigail Breslin, Laverne Cox, Bette Midler. Huh? Very interesting here. What's that here? Billy Bloom. Uh, where does the match only by his outrageous anything goes in his mother? Huh? Not a bad idea, not a bad sort of comedy-like premise. Uh, you know, I, I'm all for equal rights. I'm all for, you know, um, people, you know, um, being who they are. And this is probably a really great movie for those sort of looking for that type of movie. Could be really cool. Hmm, I don't know. Not bad. So that is Freak Show. Oh, man. And then also we're seeing the Blu-ray of wrinkle in time before twenty two ninety nine here and you know what oprah winfrey is in this and i know she helped sort of produce the film um and oprah winfrey's not a bad actress i know people kind of shit on her um i liked her in the color purple i liked her in lee daniels the butler she just does nothing here she's really flat and lifeless and so is reese witherspoon and mindy kaling um the only a actor i really liked in the movie was chris pine which i actually thought he did a really good job in the movie um, other than that, yeah, I didn't really care for it. It's just this big CGI spectacle that, um, unfortunately was pretty lifeless, to be honest with you. Hmm, it's a shame. But again, out of curiosity, I'd say it's worth at least one watch. Then, down here, I am seeing Gringo, the Blu-ray, DVD, and digital for twenty two ninety nine. Another one we did not see at Walmart, guys. And I got a chance to check this out on Amazon Prime. It's okay. Really, it's about this guy who works at this sort of, like, um, pharmaceutical company, and his life is basically shit. His, his boss, who is his friend, pretty much ignores him and really doesn't pay much attention to him. His wife is cheating on him. Um, people consider him a loser and just he's lifeless. He's... he's um, basically poor, and, uh, you know, him and a couple of the people of his company go to Mexico to talk about, um, some pharmaceutical products, and he decides, you know what, I'm just gonna pretend to be kidnapped, and, uh, they're gonna pay the ransom, but then other people are after him, and it's whole wacky, zany comedy. Um, it's not bad. I... I enjoyed it. I didn't love it. I thought it was it was decent. I liked the performances. I thought uh, David Oyelo is pretty good in it. Charlize Theron, she's definitely, she plays a hardcore bitch in the movie, but she does that pretty well, guys. Uh, Joel Edgerton's awesome in it. Amanda Seyfried, Tandy Newton, Charlotte Copley. Um, everyone does a pretty decent job here. Um, again, it's not the best comedy. It's sort of, I think, the lower tier stuff, but... Um, otherwise, it's, it's not bad, actually. It's, it's, I think the performances elevate the movie. If it wasn't for the performances and sort of them doing a great job, I would say it's, it's, it's a pass. But for the performances alone, I'd say give it a chance. Hmm, I'd say give it a chance. Then the next thing over here is, hmm, Wedding Bells? The DVD for $9.99? Ah, another Hallmark one. Oh boy, consider me not interested. Ooh, but it does have Kevin Smith in it. Now, if you guys do not know Kevin Smith, I am a big fan of his from Stargate Atlantis. 
Yeah, I love him in Stargate Atlantis. He was he was badass in that in that show. But uh, hey, you're an actor. You need work, so why not? Um, again, just okay. But I wouldn't invest my time into this movie. Um, then over here we have the DVD of Thoroughbreds for 19.99. And Anton Yelchin is also in this movie. He plays a small role. And it was really weird watching Anton Yelchin in a in a new movie, knowing that he's 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 gone, you know, that he's dead that he's dead. It it was kind of weird. But uh I mean it's not a bad movie. But you know, the thing about it is that watching this movie and watching Anton Yelchin in this movie sort of reminds me how fucking awesome of an actor he was and god how much I'm gonna miss him. And, you know, it's just a shame. You see some of these actors who die way too fast, like Anton Yelchin, and you're just like, man, you just wish they would stick around because they've got so much more life to live and so much more performances. But it was really cool to see him in the movie. He did a really good job, and so did all the actors. It's, it's sort of a hit-and-miss movie, you know, but it's worth it for, for the performances alone, I would say. Mm. Let's see what else... Target has. All right, guys, we are in this section of Target, and they do have the DVD of A Wrinkle in Time for for nineteen ninety nine here as well. They also have that Peter Pan Blu-ray DVD and digital anniversary edition for twenty two ninety nine, and our first exclusive of the day from Target for twenty four ninety nine. You have. The Peter Pan Anniversary Edition includes Blu-ray, DVD, digital code, and a 32-page storybook only here at Target. Kind of what, what it looks like there. Very cool. And that's a cool cov a cover. So you got this cover here, and you've got this cover as well. I kind of... I don't know which cover I like. I like them both, actually. They're really cool. I like that. I like the, the little signature collection Disney there that's very nice there yeah that's really cool and again man this is such a great childhood movie that I love and I love a lot of the iterations that they've done of Peter Pan over the years whether that was that Spielberg film Hook or a couple other ones that they've done but the animated one will always be king to me and yeah this is a great one and a lot of cool special features that you get here yeah not bad at all very cool very cool edition of Peter Pan here, and I like the cover. Very nice. Uh, so I guess, guys, that does it for Target. Let's get out of here. Now that is how you make a comeback. Man, they had a lot of really great selection this week at Target. A few titles that we didn't see at Walmart, and an exclusive that Walmart didn't have Wow, they definitely came back big this week. I'm really proud of Target. Much better than last week. And it seems like uh, the stores so far have been hidden out of the park. Let's head to the third and final location and see if we can end it with a bang. Let's get going. All right, everybody. We are at our third and final location, The Beast, Best Buy. So I've been really surprised with all the great selection and all of the variety we've gotten to see at the store so far. But can Best Buy be the best of them all? Well, only one way to find out. Let's head inside and check it out. All right, guys, we are in at Best Buy here. And the first thing I'm seeing is the Blu-ray DVD and digital of A Wrinkle in Time for $22.99 here. They also have an only at Best Buy collectible steelbook of A Wrinkle in Time right here. Pretty nice steelbook as well. Look at that. Kind of, kind of cool there. If you look at that. Different artwork. I kind of like this this uh, steelbook. It's kind of cool actually. You've got that. And you've also got the 4K Ultra HD Blu-ray and digital for $27.99. So the steelbook, 4K, or actually it's Blu-ray. DVD for $27.99 and the 4K for $27.99 and eh, whichever one you want to go with I think it'll look good in 4K though and let's see here they got a lot of decent special features here bloopers deleted scenes documentary on the making of it audio commentary music videos I mean there is a lot of, of stuff here um, but I got to admit to you guys again it's it's just a so-so movie some of these 
book adaptations are really difficult to do. And Ana DuVernay, who I know is a really upcoming director, she did this. Ah, I'm not, I just, there, it, it was very emotionless, very lifeless. Um, the acting just didn't really convince me. Uh, it's unfortunate because I think it could have been really cool, but it kind of fell by the wayside. It wasn't really that great. But, you know, that's just my opinion. Maybe you guys really enjoyed it. Definitely let me know. And also I'm seeing here they have the anniversary edition of Peter Pan, the Blu-ray DVD and digital for $22.99. And they have an only at Best Buy exclusive Blu-ray, DVD, and digital collectible steelbook for $27.99 here. And that's a pretty cool cover as well for it. I kind of like that a lot. And man, it seems like the exclusives for Peter Pan have been pretty cool. That Walt Disney Signature Collection there. Yeah, this is really cool. And again, I want to know from you guys, what is your favorite sort of Disney movie? And I know that's like picking, like, you know, some of like your kids or something. But for me, my favorite, ooh, you know, my, my, my favorite probably has to be, uh, I'm going to go ahead and say Snow White. I really am, because Snow White was really a, a one that I really, really love. But... God, you know, the Cinderella's and the Peter Pan, they're, they're all good. They're all good. I, 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 don't, I don't know which one to pick, guys. Hmm, so there's that. And then they also have the Blu-ray of Every Day for $19.99 here. Oh, from the director of The Vow. I actually really like The Vow, actually. I really did. The Vow is actually really cool. Um, hmm. Based on David... Yeah, again, I got it. I don't know. Uh, again, the cover kind of looks okay, but it just kind of looks like a pass for me. But I do like romantic. I do like romantic films. I like romantic comedies. I just I'm not feeling the synopsis, guys. I'm just not. But it does have some interesting special features here. I know it's got novel's perspective deleted scenes it's got some de decent stuff in there i don't know not too sure about it though then over on this side i am seeing death wish the dvd for 14.99 and the blu-ray dvd and digital for 19.99 man you know color again color me surprised man color me surprised i really did like this one a lot as i said and it is brutal they don't shy away from the violence either you know you would think nowadays maybe they shy away from it but no they don't shy away from it at all and you got some great special features there you got a commentary by eli and somebody else he's with you got deleted scenes with optional commentary you got um extended scenes um, you know, a, a making of, yeah, you got a lot of stuff, some really cool stuff here. I just really enjoy this movie. And I'm kind of curious, what are your favorite sort of revenge action movies? I mean, of course you got to say the first Death Wish because it's really there, but there's a lot of really great, great ones out, out, out there. Like even, um, even a movie like I Spit on Your Grave is a really cool revenge movie as well. But again, if you guys were sort of hesitant on Death Wish, I I say go ahead and 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 not maybe get it, but definitely check it out because I I think you guys are really gonna like it. I think you guys will be pleasantly surprised. I know that I was. Then over here, I'm seeing Gringo, the Blu-ray, DVD, and digital for $19.99. And you know what, um, the action scenes are kind of cool here, and as I said, the cast is really awesome here as well. Um, Chartel Copley is in this, and I love Chartel Copley. Ah, uh, man, you know what, I don't think I really expressed to you guys how much I love him as an actor. Whether it's um, District 9 that he was in, or The A-Team, or a lot of these other movies that he's been in. Maybe the movies aren't great, but he's really awesome in them. And I really love, in fact, like I said, Charlie's, Joel Edgerton, everybody rocked it in this. And the comedy is okay. It's definitely one of those, like, action comedy movies. Um, some work, some don't. 
again, the performance is what makes it really good. They're fantastic. And you got making of Gringo, stunts, filming, who is Harold. Mm, okay. Again, it is a really interesting movie, at least worth a watch, I would say. And it is the cool cover. At least they use the theatrical art, which I'm very happy about. Some companies don't use the theatrical art. At least they did. But other than that, I think that does it for this area of Best Buy. Let's see what else they got. Oh, and one other thing I wanted to show you in this section was the Hurricane Heist. They got the Blu-ray, DVD, and digital for $16.99 here and almost forgot to show it to you guys. And you got audio commentary by Rob Cohen. You got a couple of featurettes here, gag reel, deleted scenes. Ah, they got some really cool stuff, stuff here. And again, I actually really like it. It's a cool little heist movie. And you know, if you're going in expecting something really like crazy or you know the the smartest heist movie you've ever seen, like an Ocean's film, you're gonna be disappointed, guys. But if you're looking for sort of a um, just a ridiculous over-the-top thrill ride you're gonna enjoy this movie you really are and man you know I had a ball with it I really did I enjoyed the shit ton out of it yeah so that is Hurricane Heist so now let's see if Best Buy has anything else to show us all right let's see what else they got all right, guys, we are in this section of Best Buy, and I am seeing over here they have the DVD of the 21st season of South Park for $19.99 and the Blu-ray for $24.99. And, you know, I want to know from you guys, what is your favorite season of South Park? Now, I know that's probably asking a lot. There's probably a lot of great seasons of the show. But, uh, yeah, I am definitely curious to what you guys think. And... You know what, I hear that the show is still incredibly creative, still has a lot of juice left in it, and in a lot of these animated shows, sometimes they don't really work out so well, they, um, they lose a lot of steam, they're not as funny as they used to be, but I heard nothing but good things still about South Park, even this far deep into the, the show's, you know, sort of legacy and everything, but um, definitely let me know about South Park, I uh, would greatly appreciate it guys, and over here I am seeing something really unique from Best Buy they have these sort of new slip covers for some interesting titles here yeah some really interesting slip covers here and you got uh, Assassin's Creed Platoon the A-Team Man on Fire The Martian Rocky Big Trouble in Little China, Taken 3, Taken 2, Fight Club, Speed, The Day After Tomorrow, I, Robot, The Terminator, The Hitman, Taken, The Transporter, The Last of the Mohicans, Abraham Lincoln, a Vampire Hunter, and Independence Day. And these are pretty cool, actually. They're all pretty cool, interesting slipcovers, and I believe the actual art inside them is the regular art. Yeah, yeah, it's actually the regular art on all of them. And I think that it's the same discs as the old ones, guys. I don't think there's anything new on any of these discs. I just think that it's actually the old disc just with new art on them. I know that Walmart does this this a lot as well. But these slipcovers are pretty cool. It's nothing that I would really pick up, guys, but... I know that if you guys are slipcover hounds, and a lot of you are, then maybe you might want to pick up some of these cool titles that they have here at Best Buy that have the new art on them. Could be cool. Could be collector's items. A lot of slipcovers, guys, trust me. Slipcovers are one of the most hottest collector's items there is. Um, they go for big, big money on eBay, so maybe you guys could get it. 
may, may maybe flip it who knows but uh, that should do it for Best Buy let's get out of here okay pretty cool we got some good selection here at Best Buy two exclusives which is really nice as well yeah you know i've been surprised this out and about a lot of really great selection from all the stores they've really surprised me in a really great way and best buy was no exception so let's head home and finish the video all right everybody that'll do it for the blu-ray and dvd out and about video this week and man i was so happy with this week and doing the out and about guys there was something new to check out no matter what store we went to, uh, whether it was a lot of different titles that one store didn't have over the other or some really cool exclusives. We had a ton of great selection this week. This is what physical media is about. I love doing the out and abouts when we have weeks like this because I love physical media and this is why I'm such a lover of it. Seeing the different releases, seeing all the cool selection, you know, this this is what it's all about, and I'm so happy with this week. It was such a bounce back from last week. I couldn't be happier, and I definitely want to know what you guys picked up. Definitely let me know in the comments section. And I picked up a few things as well. I went to Walmart. I got a title at Walmart. Wait a minute. I picked up a title at Walmart? Yeah, I did. Then... I ended up picking up a title over at Best Buy. Wait a minute. Walmart and Best Buy? Yeah, I picked up titles, okay? Yeah, I actually pick up physical media at stores from time to time. Who would have thunk it, right? And when I got home, I had a really nice surprise, a package in the mail from Vinegar Syndrome. Recently, towards the end of last month, they were having their halfway to Black Friday sale. I picked up a title of theirs. I'm really happy to get it in the mail, finally. And, of course, you guys will not get to find out exactly what I picked up until my Blu-ray pickups video, which will drop at the beginning of next month. It'll show off all of the releases that I picked up for the month of June. And so far, I've got three titles already, and we're just beginning the month. And there's a lot of cool releases that are going to come out. Newer titles, some older titles that are definitely ones that are on my radar that I'm going to look into picking up. Plus much more. So definitely check that video out when it drops at the beginning of next month. But in the meantime, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, definitely give it a thumbs up. And if you're new to the channel, welcome. Check out the other videos and the movie-related content that's on the channel. The other Blu-ray and DVD out and about videos, the Blu-ray pickup videos, the theatrical movie reviews that I do every single week, plus much, much more. If you like what you see and are a lover of movies and physical media, then hit subscribe and become part of the Film Fan Nation. I have a passion and a love for movies. It's definitely something that is really sort of in my heart. I love it so much. I love talking about it with you guys. If you love the videos, definitely hit subscribe. And in the meantime, I will see you guys next time for a brand new Blu-ray and DVD out and about video. Take care, guys.